Like youth who have come before us in the civil rights movement and other social justice movements, it is often the young among us that shine the light on systems of injustice. For a lot of young people right now, life is really scary. Hurricane Matthew hit head on, and it's just so terrifying. If this drought gets any worse, our way of life will dissolve. Just as my family's farm is threatened by climate change, so too are the very stability and vitality of our country. The government is taking actions that are directly contributing to the destruction of our planet. We have evidence going back to the 50s that government and the fossil fuel industry knew that if they continued to burn fossil fuels, that it would cause catastrophic impacts. That's when they started editing climate reports. It's all because of choices that we had no participation in. And I'm scared for my future. It's the greatest dereliction of civic responsibility in the history of the Republic. 21 young people ages 11 to 22 are suing the federal government over policies they say are destroying their world. We are not willing to wait around for someone else's timeline to dictate the trajectory of our lives. I look forward to standing in court with all my fellow plaintiffs. I love you all. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth? I do. Whether we win the lawsuit or not, we are already making ripples in the world to show real change can come from young people standing up for what they believe in. All right. Of all the cases working their way through the federal court system, none is more interesting or potentially more life-changing than Juliana versus the United States.